Nine years after the attack by the Islamic State group on her hometown in Sinjar, northern Iraq, Buhar Dawood is hoping her husband and son are still alive. When ISIS attacked her hometown in August 2014, she was separated from her husband and son. She tells VOA that she was able to escape IS slavery, but she does not know what happened to them. It is entering the 10th year since I heard from my husband and son. No one is doing anything for us. We're begging other nations and governments to give us some help. Buhar's story is not uncommon among the Yazidis. Local officials estimate about 2,600 Yazidis are still missing. Many of the women were sold into sexual slavery. Many of the men were killed. Nine years later, hundreds of women have been freed by Burjiz Sinjar. He finds and sneaks them out of their situation. He tells VOA that IS kidnapped more than 100 of his family and relatives. <laughs> When I started this mission of smuggling Yazidis out of IS territory, IS had kidnapped 124 of my people. 35 of them are my uncles and other men. I was forced to begin looking for them. Of that number, 29 of them have been killed. The rest are women and children. I have saved 97 people. Barji spends most of his day speaking to Yazidi women trapped in Syria. He talks to many of them daily on the phone, trying to find ways to bring them home. He says some of the Yazidi girls who were young when they were taken have been brainwashed, embracing IS ideology and are unwilling to come home. Three weeks ago, I got information on 81 women. 18 of those women were Yazidis. Out of the 18 Yazidi women, only two. Bars and Alia were rescued. The head of Kurdistan regional government kidnapped Yazidi's rescue office tells VOA, while many missing people might be alive, it's possible that many of them were murdered by IS and buried in deserts across Syria and Iraq. We officially started our rescue mission in 2014. Since then, 3,570 people have been rescued consisting of 1,208 women and more than 2,000 children of both genders. 339 are men. According to our data, 2,600 people are still missing. Bergi says he will continue his mission to save more women. Despite his efforts, he recognized that the process gets harder each day. He says some of the women were moved outside of Iraq and Syria to other countries in the Middle East. His deepest worry, he says, is for the young Yazidi girls and boys who have been indoctrinated by IS ideology. For Kawa Omar in Duhok, Kurdistan region of Iraq, Rakar Hussein, VOA News.